Hello everyone, this is Mark Major and we are here at the Action Figuratorium, name of this environment that I'm currently in. And today we're going to be doing a sort of walkthrough of another, yes, another cool customization. As some of you know, I'm on a little bit of a Star Wars World War II crossover kick. I'm doing something that you could describe as diesel punk. I did a video recently in which I took some speeder bikes and I made them look sort of like, um, you know, like something the Wehrmacht would cruise around in World War II. There's a video on that. And today we're going to be doing a little bit more of that. I'm taking a Jedi uh, Starfighter. Check this thing out. This is um, sort of Anakin's Starfighter from, I think it's Attack of the Clones. And um, we are going to be painting that up to look like it's kind of a World War II sort of diesel machine. So um, why don't you guys stick around? Okay, so here's the basic method that I have for approaching these repaints on these Star Wars toys. First thing I generally do after, you know, cleaning it up is I'll paint anything that looks mechanical, that looks like a gun or a piece of machinery, something that's going to be kind of metal or silver looking, something that's, you know, going to stand out as a sort of a, a an actual part on the vehicle. Uh, then I pick a camouflage pattern that I feel is appropriate or that I know a certain particular character is going to go with the vehicle. Um, and then after I paint the camouflage pattern on, I will add decals. And the best way to get decals for World War II type stuff is to look on eBay and just get some single sheets from people who um, have extra and are getting rid of them. And after that, I put a wash over the whole thing to make it look grimy. And some would say that I go a little too far with my washes, and I would tend to agree. I need to kind of ease back and sort of uh, tame them, as it were. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm first going to look around at some current uh, Luftwaffe camouflage designs. That is... Um, the camo that they used on airplanes in World War II by the Germans. And uh, let's cut over to browser cam. Who doesn't love browser cam? So we're just looking around at a couple of different examples. And one of the things I want to point out is on all these different uh, camouflage German planes. And remember, the camouflage goes on the top, not on the bottom. It's for when the planes are on the ground. They don't want to be spotted or if they're coming and landing, flying in low, that kind of thing. That's really when you want the camo to kick in. So uh, what I'm pointing out on these, however, right now is that all of them have these bits of yellow on them where they put their, uh, their team marker, their symbol markers. And you can see on the example here, we've got um, yellow around the... Uh, back fuselage with the insignia of the uh, black cross there. So it's also yellow on the tips and you can see there's yellow on the uh, nose cones. If we look at some more examples, um, you'll see that they have some yellow writing on them. They, uh, here's another one with a little band of yellow on it. Um, let's keep going, shall we? Uh, who wanted that to open up? Uh, here you can see yellow on the nose cone, yellow on the letters. Uh, here's a bit of yellow on the tips of the wings on this one. Here's a piece of yellow underneath. So this is something that these cats did is they used yellow um, on all their planes so as that they could identify them with each other. And you know what? Let's, um, let's look at our... Um, our Starfighter one more time. Um, and uh, you can see that it has got yellow on it in kind of all the right places. So what we're going to do is we are going to leave all that yellow on there. In fact, we'll put some decals right on the wings and up front. It looks like a great place to put decals, great place to showcase them. 
So after that, um, picking out the side that I'm not going to do yellow, I've decided I'm going to do a brown-green combination where I'm going to do uh, brown amoebas uh, surrounded by sort of rivers of green, olive green with sort of a drab brown. Um, it's going to look like a big lake of green with brown islands in it. And um, after I have applied that first round of paint, it looks like this. Now, this uh, vid is just a tad bit out of focus. That is my fault. This is what happens when you, um, you just hang out and smoke the ganja all day. A couple shots will come out a bit soft, I admit. So this is what it looks like with just the brown on it. And um, where it's not brown is the original uh, sort of gunmetal gray of the ship itself. Let me skip to the next one. This is with the green added. So it's really starting to uh, come together at this point. And um, I also will go back after I do one layer of brown, one layer of green. I'll do a little brown touch up. And then after that, I'll do a little bit of green touch up. So uh, now I think it's time to, um, to cut to what I'm going to say is the, uh, is the finished product here on, uh, on the bench, as they say. Um, so after I do the two uh, camouflage colors, I put my decals on. And the way that I uh, have done the decals is I want to go for balance. Right, I want to look balanced, but I also want uh, dissymmetry. That is, I don't want it to look quite mirror image. So, uh, with this, because we're doing some uh, photography for it, I want to make sure that um, that either side that you have the uh, camera angle on this, that you can see one of the crosses, because it really sells the idea that it's World War II. So that's some symmetry on those two. Then we're going to start to add in some balance, but dissymmetry. So on this side, you can see there's a spot for a mech. And over here, opposite that, I have put the uh, numbers of the uh, unit, 19. That was just happens to be the decal that came with some of my um, uh, World War II uh, model kit decals that I had. Um, then over here, I put like a little sort of unit badge and to balance it out, I went and found some more numbers and I put an equally, you know, about the, about the same size of a uh, little 19 there. And then the bottom, which does not have paint per se, camouflage, it does have a bit of a washes and streaks on it. Um, I goofed up and, uh, and accidentally put this cross on the top. And it is not quite exactly the same. And I didn't realize that until I looked at the two of them. So rather than throw it away, I took it off and I just slapped it on the bottom. And then to make it balance out, I put uh, a 19. It was the leftover 19 they gave you two. I slapped that there. So that is basically how I did the decals. After that, I put my wash and I made it all look kind of diesel punk and dirty. And then, of course, the, uh, the final thing that you do with this is you get a cool... World War II pilot, and this guy is actually made by uh, 21st Century uh, Toys. This is part of their 118 scale Ultimate Soldier line. This is a Stuka uh, gunner, not the pilot. The gunner looks exactly like this, except that he has uh, goggles on. This guy came with a little sort of gas mask, and I picked that because I thought that would look cool if this guy was in the cockpit with, uh, with the gas mask on. To me, that seems like kind of a cool way to uh, to go. So that's basically the it. You can take these Star Wars toys for the 118th scale. You can get some 118th um, World War II guys. Either Ultimate Soldier has some new old stock you can find on eBay. Not cheap, 10 to 20 bucks depending upon which guy. You know, there's always gonna be some that might be and then some that are gonna be, you know. And then if you're looking for Joy Toy, well, you can still find a lot of that stuff, the World War II ones that they have um, on eBay for kind of a lot, but you can still find a few online retailers who have them in stock and who sell them for really reasonable. In fact, there's a few places, like the one I go to called Small, Small Joe's, and it actually has some of these toys on clearance, which I think is uh, pretty cool. So I'm gonna be doing some more toy photography with um, 
with all of this World War II Star Wars stuff, of course, you can find the Action Figuratorium on Instagram. That is where pics of all these things taken here show up. Uh, with that, I thank everybody who made it this far in the video. Always a big thanks, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.